heading back, back for round two. This is the second go in the kitchen. I'm feeling a lot more confident, a lot more ready. Uh, picked up a lot more supplies as well than from the supply video. Um, I think we should see a lot shorter time in the kitchen tonight than last time. I mean, really anything would be shorter. Uh, but you'll see in the kitchen some of the new stuff I got might help out. And I've just been thinking over the, meth the, the method that I want to do this by. And I think I have a good plan in action. As I said in the shrink wrap video, the plan is going to be to cook at night, bake at night, and then shrink wrap in the morning. So I'm baking at night, not because I'm really doing this to sell any breads during this run right now, but because, as always, the kitchen is booked out for months in advance for daytime hours. So really nighttime or morning is all it's gonna be anyway. It's almost seven o'clock and I have the kitchen booked for from seven till midnight. So that's five hours, should be plenty of time, I hope. If not, we'll go back to our old ways of booking kitchen time in the middle of the night because nobody has it booked at midnight. But I'm tired. I'm already tired and I'm not even in the kitchen yet. Just been a long, long day. Um, woke up early, hit the gym, ran a thousand errands, wasn't home at all, just constantly go, go, go. So just tired. The goal for this run through is, well, firstly, not burn any breads. Uh, this one, we got to actually get some real breads at the end of it. Um, to also just continue developing the method on doing this and using some new equipment. Um, yeah, I just think every run through, I'm just going to get a little better at doing this and so it's just good to get another run through in and like I said gotta get some breads actually baked that are suitable for eating and consuming so that's really it for about what I'm planning to do um, probably just gonna make like three or four breads just to start and then ramp that up if that's looking good because there's no need to burn a whole bunch of breads again, so it's best, I think, just to test the waters, see what happens. First, let's start filling these bad boys up with some hot water. Remember how soaked I got last time I did this? Well, I bought a waterproof apron for like 10 bucks. So, this should hopefully help. The waterproof apron really helped out. I'm like completely dry. So that was an awesome $10 spent. I do need to figure out a way to air dry stuff a little better. Uh, they said I could use a blow dryer to help out with the process. They be in the health department, I emailed and asked them. Um, and I did that, but it's still, that, uh, it's not really working. So, <laughs> I, I don't know, I gotta get a better process because I have like everything laid out over here. I got like all the 
cookie sheets to bake and mash the bananas on all over there. Down here I have like all the bowls and everything. Um, and then all the stuff up here, even some bonus items down here. Um, one thing I got was a mixer. A commercial NSF, everything's got to be NSF, that's like national sanitization something. But if you're in a commercial kitchen, it's got to be NSF. I got the mixer because creaming the butter and sugar uh, when you're doing a really large batch just takes very long by myself. I mean, it's basically like an extra set of hands for everything. Um, so I'm really hoping this is going to work out. I buy everything on Amazon pretty much or <laughs> Restaurant Depot if I have to get there, but pretty much on Amazon as we already know. So if things don't work out, I just return them. So I'm just kind of sitting around waiting for everything to air dry, listening to some music. Um, I think it's almost done and then I can get started. I will say I washed everything a lot quicker. Uh, definitely figuring out process. It's like the simple things, you know, it's like figuring out how to like rinse and sanitize effectively and efficiently. I'm figuring all that stuff out. Um, so things are speeding up. It still took long. It still took like an hour to get everything washed, rinsed and sanitized, but that's a lot quicker than the like three hours that it took me initially. So just waiting for all the stuff to finish drying up and then we're gonna get started. Okay, I got my chef's coat and hat on and my beard net on. Um, so I'm gonna try just by making four breads at once with this go. We're gonna try this bit first and see if this works and then bump over to um, the whisk after this, after we see how this one does. All right, here we go. So while this is continuing to go, I'm going to go ahead and get the dry ingredients going. This looks good. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Okay, this is looking really good. So I'm actually not even gonna bother getting the rest off of here. Um, I'm just gonna take a look in here because I'm just gonna mix the rest of the ingredients in. Yeah, this is, this is good. So, I'm just gonna get all the rest of this back in here and then get everything else going.
All right, breads have been out for 30 minutes. I'm gonna give one of them a test because I baked them for a lot less time than needed. Uh, this one here in the middle, this one's looking, yeah, this one looks good. So yeah, baked it for less time than needed because I burnt 27 breads last time. So hopefully this one is good in the middle. It looks really good on the outside. Um, feels, feels okay. It does feel a little softer than it should, but we're gonna find out really quick. So yeah, this uh, countertop is sanitized, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it as a plate. Well, we're just gonna get out of here. Pop this thing, but maybe it gets out of here better when it's cooled off a little bit. Yeah, that's very hot. Ooh, that's a hot bread. There she is, in all her glory. Looks pretty good. I have a knife, so I'm just going <laughs> to use a fork to get in there. It looks pretty good, too. I think it could have used, like, maybe 10 more minutes, not even. Yeah, it's just a little, little, little underdone. It needs, like, 10 more minutes or so. The crust is very good. Yeah, so close. I must be hungry. I'm just eating this now. I just like the chocolate chips. All right, I'm gonna let this cool. And I'm gonna try it again. And see what it's like. All right, well, I'm back home. I had to kind of get out of that kitchen pretty quick. My time was coming to an end, so I didn't really film anything. I just cleaned up and rushed out of there. That last bread, uh, it wasn't that great. Um, well, it was fine. It just needed a little bit longer in the oven and it would have been a much better bread. But that's just the learning experience that I'm going through. Um, but I'm getting a little unlucky with the breads from the commissary kitchen. I put all the breads in a big plastic container because the plan was to come home, let them cool, and then this morning wrap them up or shrink wrap them and see how long they keep for. The thing was, I walked through the door with that container and I had another container, like a little container on top of it that had my phone, this camera in it, my water bottle, like my wall, all my stuff was in there. And I opened that door and Rose, my cat, runs out. Um, she can't go outside, she's not an outdoor cat. Her previous owner had her little front claws removed, is what it is. But uh, yeah, she doesn't go outside and I always get scared when she does go outside. But she loves to try to make a break for it and she made a really good break, did a little juke move, got past me, and she was out. Um, so I put that container with all the breads and my stuff on the ledge right by my door, turned around, I didn't really set it on there very well because as I turned around it immediately fell, the camera came crashing down, all my stuff spilled everywhere and the breads, I didn't really have that lid on there too good so the breads like flipped and landed face first and squished and were full of ground dirt and like the chocolate chips in the top went everywhere and it was a mess. I uh, probably should have filmed it, probably would have made for a good shot, but I was a little angry at Rose at the time, didn't really think too much about filming, so just ran outside, grabbed Rose, cleaned it up, and here we are.
Rose, did you just wake up from a nap? <laughs>